Hello, my beautiful Vibe Tribers. Welcome to your weekly mystic. This is for the week of August 28th through September 3rd of 2023. Many blessings to you all. Remember, this is the collective energy for all sun, moon, and rising signs. We're doing the forecast for the entire week to see what the rhythm and energy of the days are so that you can have a little bit of advance notice on how this is going. So, if you'd like to have a personal reading, because these are general readings for all sun, moon, and rising signs, please visit my website, royalmystic.com. I'll be more than happy to assist you once you schedule your appointment. So with that, I'll thank you in advance for clicking that like button. You know that is the ticket. Boy, you hit that button and Google knows this video is worth sharing and helps to promote me out to other people. And don't forget to share this with your friends. They would enjoy this reading. And thank you, because I already know you're subscribed. You guys are you guys are the bomb diggity, so I'm not even worried about that part. But if you haven't, please do so now. And let's see what else we have going on for this beautiful week. Ooh, that y'all saw that? That's the sun card. Let's see what this one is. Ah, oh, the Leo strength card. So beautiful energy as we come through into your absolute perfect opportunity this is the sun card the happiest card in tarot and what it entails is the entire cosmic energy of our little galaxy to come into alignment so that you get a straight shot at the goal and you do not have to pass go or, or do any of that you just go right to it there's no hoops to jump through and this is an opportunity of a lifetime. It's where something starts with a seed and ends in an absolute breakthrough energy of success. So the sun card is always welcome and the strength card to get to that energy and allow yourself to keep yourself on the path of moving forward. This is the Archangel Ariel. Ariel is the Lion of God and this is the energy of helping to protect you as you walk the path to this goal and allow yourself to stay focused on it so that no one else can interfere or abscond with you. So you are now in the energy of making it to your goal with protection. So we'd love that. Help is always welcome. Let's see what else we have. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine, pure, white light. Ooh, Scorpio Major Arcana, the Death card. So we have Leo Major Arcana and Scorpio Major Arcana. This is the energy of purging, clearing, and cleansing, releasing all the things that have been kind of toxic or just negative. This is the drama. We're going to let the cosmic garbage man come in and scoop all that up and leave you with a fresh, clean slate. In other words, he's going to sow new seeds so that you have a new beginning come through after he clears it all out of the way. So this is the best kind of energy coming in to make a new way forward. Divine Spirit, Spirit Guides, Gods and Goddesses, thank you so much for being present here to allow all sun, moon and rising signs to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. We thank you so much, Divine, for these blessings and beautiful messages, and we receive them in the love and light for which they are intended. We thank you for this Divine guidance as always, and we welcome your blessed energy. Thank you so much, Divine. You are always welcome and very appreciated. So, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, Sunday energy. The underlier is the lovely and talented fool. And this is an, a Hallelujah Hail Mary card because this is the way you want to change. It is where the door to the past closes smoothly, seal it with a kiss, move right into the new without missing a beat. Literally, and sometimes without missing a paycheck. So smooth transition and not feeling any any real uncomfortableness as you move forward. So that's when you know it's right. It's just easy peasy. Now, we have our clarifiers and we'll begin with our bottom card. The Nine of Cups. The Nine of Cups is your heart's desire being granted. This is a yes from the universe. So, grand way to begin Let's see what we've got cooking in this beautiful energy. I hope everyone is having a blessed day. And I send you all lots of love and light. I appreciate every single one of you. And I love the comments and all of that. Thank you so much. 
I try to get to them as fast as I can, but y'all might notice that I do it late sometimes. And so pardon that. I just try my very best to get to everything I have to do. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. But it's worth it. And boom, a double sun card. It's very worth it. There's that sun card riding in. Now this one's a little different in its artwork. But you can see the same premise. So the white horse is the symbol of spirit and new renewal. The baby is the newness or rebirth. Then you have this beautiful sun that's basking its beautiful rays over this beautiful harvest of sunflowers. The sunflowers have the Fibonacci sequence in the center of them. That's why they're on here. That's why they're significant. So just know that this is about the cycles of life, just like the fool. That's what he's all about. He is the cycle in the tarot. He's the beginning and the end and the new beginning starting after that, right? He's a continuous cycle renewal. Okay, so let's see what our little bonus cards have to say. We have flow. It's important to remember that the universe is your is your uh, limitation, and which is, you know, the universe is unlimited, not your job. The job is a tool the universe uses, so you're not limited by your salary. We try to do that. We put ourselves in a box of, oh, I earn X amount per, per paycheck, and that's all I have. But then you're turning off all the extra stuff that could show up. There's plenty in the universe. You don't want to pigeonhole yourself into one little bracket. Riches flow into my life in many ways from, and from many directions. Remember, it's just like saying I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. Yes, <laughs> that's all I have to say to that. Yes, I receive abundance from sources known and unknown. Be in that energy and you won't have to worry. Now, generosity. So even if you don't have excess of money, you have excess of something. You have excess of kindness or being in a place of being able to, you know, apply your gift. Some people will do things for people like bake things and do things like that. Whatever you can be, gen sometimes it's just time. People just want someone to spend time with them. So be generous in whatever way you can because it does allow you to contribute to the, to the bigger picture and the energy you sow, so shall you reap, right? So, this one's talking about money because that's what this card's energy is or this deck's energy is centered around is the abundance of money. Uh, money is positive energy and it allows me to be generous to others. So just understand you don't have to have money to do this. Um, it, it does help. Everybody help, you know, is happy to have extra money to give. But if it's not money, give something, even if it's just your time. So being generous in spirit is also important. So, there's lots of nonprofits for that very reason. Little little things that come through to help us help each other, right? It takes a village. Tiger's eye, courage. This is the strength and the energy of that Leo major arcana, being in the energy of taking a courageous step forward without fear, knowing that you are being guided and protected that we saw earlier, right? We saw that Leo major arcana. It That is the energy of this wonderful card. Let's see what our affirmation cards have to say. Ooh, synergy. We like synergy. The frequency of synergy supports our allowance and acceptance of the not so obvious, never seen before, new ways and combinations that result in functioning and working, thinking, relating, loving, and being. It recommends us to embrace the unfamiliar so that the new yet exciting co-creations can give birth to a new reality. It's important to know that all of this lends to each other. Everywhere you look in life, synergy is part of it. The, the movement of things that, that are, that's how we get new inventions and new ideas and people come up with, you know, a sudden knowing of something that's never been done before. It gives you that open energy to relate things and, and bring up new wonderful ways of doing things and wonderful ways of being able to experience this lovely life that we have. And synergy is a key role in manifestation, okay? 
Okay. <laughs> oh, hey. Monday's energy is the Five of Rods with the Death card. The Five of Rods is the energy of being very much uh, in, kind of enthralled in something. It's not a big deal, but it does have your attention, and it's probably pretty frustrating. It usually means you're in competition or someone is uh, giving you some resistance in the path that you're trying to go down. It may even be your own resistance, but that death card is a Scorpio Major Arcana, and that is the Cosmic Garbage Man coming in to take out the trash. So whatever garbage is going on there, it's going with it. And you have a fresh, clean slate to start with. So we love that. Oh, hello. Speaking of synchronicity and synergy, there is the Sagittarius Major Arcana for Tuesday. So... The Tuesday Energy is a special bonus card that's out of this smaller deck, the Hanson Roberts deck. And it is saying to all believers. So that's where you have the ability to use your faith and determination and focus to create through your own belief. Because as you believe, so shall it be done unto you. Then you have Temperance, the Sagittarius Major Arcana, and the Archangel Uriel. Uriel is the keeper of divine light. She's the one keeping that flame going. And she's doing alchemy to create synchronicity to allow all things to align for your highest good. So Tuesday's pretty peachy. Wednesday, we have the Four of Pentacles and the King of Cups. King of Cups is water sign energy. You see how you got that Scorpio up here. But that's the energy of someone genuine. Someone who's authentic and someone who wants your highest good. And they're either making you an offer in that or they're trying to, to create something with you to help you come up in that energy. And there is the energy of the four of pentacles that's right with it. That means solid financial foundation and money in the bank. So yay Wednesday. Money day looks good. And Thursday... We have, you might get a little little notification here telling you, hey, it's time to get some rest. You got the Four of Swords and the Page of Swords. So the Four of Swords is the notification that you're running on empty. You want to have a moment to reset, refuel, restore, get good sleep, recover from whatever small thing it is. It's not, this usually doesn't mean it's a big thing. It's usually just something small. Um, and then you've got this little... Page of Swords, which is giving you some information that you need, either regarding that what you need to, to sit down and, and reassess uh, with this energy of that Four of Swords, or it's something that's just suddenly you need to know it, and, and, and so it is. They, they find a way to get you that energy. Remember, the message can come through any variety of sources. It doesn't have to be a verbal conversation or an email. It can be a download or something that you just hear. As you walk past something random and they say something that, that gives you the information. So that's Thursday's energy, which is the informed day and the day of resetting. And Friday looks very nice. There's that strength card again and that nine of cups from the beginning of the smaller deck as we brought in that energy. So yes, your heart's desire is being granted and you have the strength to endure to get to the goal. And so there it is. It's, it's in the cards. Literally, it's coming through as you are able to walk the path without anything deterring you and you will achieve success in that energy. It is your, your heart's desire being granted. And for the weekend... We have the Eight of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. Remember, the Eight of Pentacles is about mastering a new skill. It doesn't have to be something official. This can be anything. Remember, creativity is creativity. So when you're going over something with a fine-tooth comb and you're really putting your intention and attention toward it, then you are able to really bring the benefit of the knowledge of it as you move forward. Usually this results in being able to either save money or earn more money because you have that ability. Then we have the Two of Wands, which is saying you've got a little split in the path here. Now, it's not something that, it's not a crossroad, because they're both still going forward. It's a variation. So you're not going to be in a place where either of these two choices is wrong, but you do need to really pay attention to the way your heart's calling to you for it, because you want to go down the path that your heart feels is right, then you're not second-guessing yourself. 
Don't don't do this and think of what somebody else would want you to do or what they think you should do. You do what you feel and what your heart's calling you to do. Because this is your aligned reset here. That's the sun card and the fool. And we had two sun cards in this week's reading at the beginning also. So that sun card showed up at the beginning and it showed up in the second set of cards as the underlier. It's not messing around. It's really trying to show up. So very good new breakthrough energy as we move into the new September 3rd. That's coming in here. That's in these two areas here. That'll be toward the end of the week. So you've got a lot of new things shifting and moving, and you've got a lot of angelic help as well. So I send you lots of love and light, peace, happiness, joy, abundance, healing, and prosperity to you all. I'll see you again next week. Don't forget, we have the dailies and the monthlies should be out. So many blessings. Love you guys. Namaste.